Hi guys. So, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit today about my newest piercing, my industrial bar that I got yesterday. Very pretty. Um, so, I've been wanting my industrial bar for like two and a half, three months now, and I've been like wanting it and wanting it so bad, and I actually bought something the other day that will probably excite. Ah! I dropped this. I keep dropping everything. Oh my gosh. First of all, I got this stuff. It's eh. it's called Progressive Emu Oil. And it's supposed to mimic the amino acids in our body to help piercings heal faster. It's an anti inflammatory. It's really good. I like it a lot. I used it um for my lip when I had it. If you notice, I don't have it anymore because I had to take it out for my job. But I can have my industrial at my job, so it's fine. So I bought this, and this was kind of my deciding factor. It's a little, hold on, I'll take it out of the packaging. It's a little Captain America shield on, stop barking, my dog's going crazy, oh my god. Hey, I'm going to close the door on you. Anyways, <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Ooh, you can make you see it. Um, but this is what it looks like. This seems light. This light and my face is so luminous. I don't like it. I'll put something dark behind it. I'll put my Avengers first snack behind it. Well, that doesn't help much. You can't really see that. One second. Here we go. So, well, that doesn't help much either. I just don't have very many good things to put behind this. Oh, my, my sweater. <laughs> see, isn't it cute? Cutie pants. You probably can't see the middle very well, so I'll put this real close. Yeah, it's a little shield. My camera's not that fantastic, but it's a little shield. It's really tiny. Perfect for my ear, though, because my ears are very, very small. Like, they don't really, I don't know if they translate in the computer as being small, but they're really small. So... My piercer actually, like, had to go through several different kinds of piercings to see which one would fit because my ears are so little. Um, uh, what else? So, I'm going to talk about the pain level. The pain level was, it was my most painful piercing. I will say that much right now. I only had my lip and my little lobe and my industrial done, but this was definitely extremely painful. But once the needle was in, I didn't even feel the jewelry go in. The second needle hurt the most because he was going kind of slow, but that wasn't a big deal. Um, when he did the first one, I was like, oh, my God, that really hurt. Ah, because I didn't, I, I'd never felt like a piercing in my cartilage before, so it didn't really, I, I didn't know how much it was going to hurt. So I was like, ah, this really hurts a lot. But it's it after he like put the needle in, I was like, okay, okay, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Ow, okay, I just touched it. I got it yesterday. Uh, September sixth. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I like he stuck the second needle in, and that one hurt a lot. It hurt a lot to get put in. I was like, ah, like screaming profanities all over the place. Luckily, we were the only people. Me and my best friend and one of our other friends were in it with only people in the tattoo studio that we were doing it and because everyone else had like gone somewhere, I don't know. But sorry, there's stuff on the screen. <laughs> uh, my friend got like a double right right here ish. Right here. I don't wanna like touch it. So like right here she got two. Maybe I'll find a picture and put it in there. Um but yeah. Like, once he put in the jewelry, it didn't hurt. It hurt for, like, a couple of hours after that. And it ju it didn't, like, it wasn't, like, a terrible, throbbing, horrible pain. It was just, like, a little bit of stinging. And it wasn't so bad. It really wasn't that bad at all. I'm just kind of a baby from pain, I guess. Um, it seriously didn't hurt. It, it hurt while it was happening. But right now, it's just the day after. And it doesn't hurt at all. Like, it hurts a little bit because I knocked it this morning with, um, like, my hairbrush, but it didn't, like, even knocking it was like, ow, okay, that's done. Like, once you hit it, you're like, okay, ow, that really hurts. But once you knock it, it's pretty much done. Like, 
once you like hit it on something, it's like, ow, okay, and then it, it's ow for a second, and then it's not really that bad. But I haven't catastrophically like gotten it caught on anything yet. It got caught in my hair a couple of times, and every time I try to put my hair behind my ear, it kind of hurts a little bit. But other than that, it's just a little bit sensitive, and even then, it's not that bad. And I, I really love it. It's so cute. It's a, it's a little sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And I think I might end up keeping this one in for a long time just because it's really pretty and I really like it. But at some point soon. He said it would be six to eight weeks before I could put this in. I'm going to test and see what way it opens. To see like if it opens from the center or if it opens from the sides. If I can get the ball off. I'm sorry, this is like absolute silence taking a long time. So this is it. E, E, E. Oh, there we go. Now turning it over from the light makes it better. There you go. So, I read a review online that this is not, the middle thing is not that well, like, glued on. Or, like, welded on, I guess. I don't know if it's welded or glued. I'm not really sure. I'm not really 100%. I'm not an expert. But, whatever. <laughs> and my piercer just told me, he said, just be careful with it because it might be cheaply an anodized. I think that's what he said. Cheaply anodized or something like that. And he just said, just be careful because if you have sensitive skin, it might irritate you a little bit. And, and if that's the case, I'll just get something else. Also, as an adding note, I'm going to grab something else. He gave me this little dinky thing. It's a fake nose ring that opens up like this. Are you like, see it? And I can't get it to translate. There we go. It opens up like that. And then you just cram it right there. And it looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm not. And it looks like I have a nose piercing. And I really like that because I kind of want to get my nose pierced at some point. But I feel like I rub my nose too much to get it. And I also get sick a lot, so I don't really want to have to deal with that. Um, but I really like the fake one. I think I might get like a couple more fake ones and just be like, ooh, nose ring. This is how it looks. It's got a little heart detail thingy on it. And it's kind of sharp. Just let me know. It's got the dinkiest little heart detail on it. Let's see if this translates to it. There we go. No, 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 no. Dinkiest little heart with a little tiny crystal inside of it. It's really pretty. And it's like rainbow. And it's, it's, very, it's a very me kind of piercing thing. And so, yeah, that was my experience getting my industrial done. It wasn't, overall experience, it wasn't that painful and... Once the pain was there, it was pretty much gone, and I, I didn't sleep on it, by the way. I didn't sleep on it last night. I tried very hard to stay on my left side, because I usually sleep on my left side anyway. But it wasn't that hard to, like, just stay on my left side. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really have, like, any other complaints. There was, it was really fast. It was faster than my lip piercing. My lip piercing took way long, because my piercer was sitting there talking to his friends, and I, you know, I was like, eh, I don't really like that that much, and I, I didn't like it, the fact that he was just, like, sitting there talking to his buddies that worked in the piercing shop that we were at, or in the tattoo studio we were at, and I was like, dude, just do it, this is supposed to be a two-minute piercing, and you're taking, like, 25 minutes, and so, yeah, that's it, and I really love it, and I wish I had a better camera so I could give you a better picture. But I think it looks really, really nice. And I really like it. And I hope I get to keep it for a long time. So I will probably document my next piercing a little bit better. But I just didn't get to this time because I was... I, I didn't I didn't want my mom to get mad at me for swearing on the internet. <laughs> so that's basically all that happened. It's just like it hurts really bad. And you're like, ah! While it's happening. But once it's done... It's done. You're, you're no turning back, and it's done.
doesn't hurt that bad. So if you're if you're thinking about getting it, I definitely recommend it. And yeah, that's it. So I will talk to you guys another time. Maybe I'll do something else. Do something crazy. I'm so sorry, I just burped. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go and go to work and hopefully not get yelled at. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!